Hey guys, this week God has some exciting news for me to share with you guys and that he wanted me to let you know that he is going to do it again. Hello, hello, everybody out there, he's going to do it again. That is great news. Um, God was telling me to tell you to sit back and reflect on all the times he has literally shown up for you. Sometimes we get caught up in our day-to-day -day tasks and running around and doing all kinds of things and we complain a lot and God is saying, sit down and think about everything he has actually saved you from and know that he is going to do it again. He says, stop worrying, stressing, and being anxious because we are already supposed to be anxious for nothing. He said, he got you. He may not show up the same way he will, but he will show up. You can't put God in the box. He's telling you it's not going to be the same as it was last time. Expect the unexpected. Choose faith over feelings. Feelings aren't facts. I repeat, feelings are not facts. The fact of the matter is he has always showed up the same way God brought you out before. He's going to bring you out again. Joshua 23, 8 says, hold on to the, says, hold on to the Lord and do what he asks you to do. He has helped you before and he will do it again. He will never forsake you or leave you. I went, uh, I went over and visited a friend, Mama Vivian, the other day, and she reminded me, God is the master chess player. There is no gamer above him. He is always orchestrating everything. There is no better chess player in the world than God. God is making all the stuff happen that needs to happen. He's orchestrating. He is moving. Um, you know, too much, too often we give props to coincidence. We'll say, ooh, that was a coincidence. Or uh, that's weird. Or that's, you know, I can't believe that hap is God. That's God. That is God moving all the pieces of the puzzle around. He's playing chess. He's moving the men on the board the way he needs to move it. And he's going to do it again like he did it last time. And he's saying, you may not know how, you may not know when, but he is letting me know he will do it again. You guys stay lifted up this week. Have a good one. Amen and glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, again for speaking through Professor Jay. Thank you for that um, that message. Yes, God is going to do it again and again and again. And as much as we need Him to do it, He's going to keep doing it. So I'm just going to pray and as, and just call down heaven and ask God to continue to keep us and bless us even when we don't see His hand moving. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this message. And as always, Lord God, we thank you for your messenger, Professor Jade. We thank you for all the things that you're doing in her life and how you're moving and showing up in her and, and using her, Father, as an instrument and a tool to give your word. Father, we thank you that if you did it before, you would do it again. You have promised us that you are the same today as you were yesterday and will be forever. So we thank you for that, Father God. And I just pray, Lord, for anyone who's listening, anyone who's watching this video right now, who is struggling with believing, Lord God, that their circumstances or their the things around them, their situations will change. Lord God, I pray that you would remind them, send your Holy Spirit to remind them and keep them, Lord God, in their heart and let them know, Lord God, that the way you pull them out of situations before, you will pull them out of them again and again and again. Because Lord, you have already promised us that you are a a present help, that you will always help us, that you will be there in the midst of danger. You go between the rock and the hard place, and you have promised that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So, Father, we thank you, Lord, that you will do it again. And we thank you, Lord God, that the way you blessed us before, the way you've gotten us out of situations, the way you've kept us, the way you've covered us in the past, 
it will happen again, especially, Lord God, embarking on this new journey, this new year, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that 2020 has been been hard for a lot of people, Lord. But, Lord God, we thank you that you kept us and we survived it, Lord God. And, the Lord God, we thank you that the way you got us through this year, you're going to do it again. And you're going to keep doing it as long as we stay faithful to you, Lord God, and stay girded and, and rooted and grounded, Lord God, in your presence presence and in your word. We thank you, Father, for all these things. In Jesus' name, amen.